So I'm in here, I'm clipping some more of these tomato leaves, and I notice a little fella here. Oh, that's the first one I've seen this year. Nope. Now these make good uh, fishing bait. They also make good chicken food, and that's probably where this dude's going. What is it? This is a tobacco worm. Of course, they'll, they're tomato worms too. I mean, they'll eat both. See him? Kind of pretty, ain't he? That's a girl one. It's a dead one. Oh. You kill it, Daddy? How cute, you And the race is on. There you go. So what we're getting ready to do is we got these three, uh, compost bins that had all that cow manure in the barn but we're not going to put this on our garden because with this uh, straw the hay we know it was good but the straw we don't know if they put chemicals on it so we do not want to put this on our garden but up here close to mom and dad's house where we dug that trench for the electric there's still a lot of roots that that we didn't even dig up this above the ground and we don't want the kids tripping on stuff like that so we're gonna put this stuff, if it does have rays on it, it ain't gonna hurt the grass. And it won't hurt your corn either if you're just if you just got a big corn patch. But anyway, we're gonna take all this, we're gonna spread it up over there, cover up that dirt where we uh where we dug up, and then also put around them roots to kind of raise the ground level a little bit. See all these roots all up through here so we're gonna like I said we're gonna try to fill these in a little bit at least make them even with the ground mom she's wanting to move this little fairy house thing in between the two garages where it's got some shape so that way the kids can play instead of being out here in the sun she's got this little umbrella thing but a good breeze comes and it just blows right down so so i think i'm gonna go ahead and take a chainsaw cut it off and then yeah they can do whatever they want with it well i got mom's little fairy house moved the storm's coming in now, starting to rain. So, summer just flipped. It's coming in hard too now. So you said you got rained out of the garden? Yeah, I've got it about three or about a quarter of the way weeded and it started 
raining and it's been so hot today and sunny and everything and I was like sweating it felt good at first and then it just started downpouring so I didn't get as much done as I wanted to and it wasn't supposed to rain until tonight kind of put a damper on things I'd say <laughs> what were you in the middle of doing cutting down your little fairy house what oh yeah, we were going to move that fairy house. And well, then... It's raining on there right when I was finishing, so I just picked it up and set it on that uh, rock, rock you had. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, we can't work all the time, but what's been something that has surprised you this year, farming? Uh, just the weather, like I commented earlier. It's like uh, spring and summer just done a complete flip. Spring, it was just complete drought. Farmers... They're just, a lot of them just getting their first cut. Some of them haven't even got their first cut yet for hay. And now all of a sudden it's it's like a tsunami every day. I mean, it's supposed to rain literally every day. And the news, the weather app, they'll tell you, it'll change by the hour. Like, it'll show rain for the whole week, and then it'll like no rain for the whole week, and just keep, so they don't even know what's going on. So, hard ever. Okay, so I have a question for you. Um, what, I know you work a full-time job and you just do the farming on, on the side when you have time. What's your favorite thing to do as far as farming goes? The garden and my goats and my cow. I love looking at them. I love messing with the garden, weeding, um, just seeing what's coming up, seeing what God has blessed us with that day and seeing all, what the hard work is that we put in paying off i really enjoy it because like kim just said i work a full-time job outside of this which is why you don't see me all the time on the videos so whenever i get over here on my days off it's kind of fun to see what is new and uh what's coming up in the garden since last time which with all this rain we've had a lot of more stuff coming up <laughs> what do you have to say philip Nana. <laughs> <laughs> well my favorite thing to do with the gardening yeah. is not necessarily so much the gardening but getting to witness these the little kids coming together and playing outside and doing kids stuff. Uh, just seeing their creativity and them liking to get out in the, the water puddles and playing and they'll come along and they'll help with the planting and things like that and just getting them involved. You like helping grandma? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he's pretty silly. But yeah, I, it's, I enjoy seeing the the stuff coming up and knowing that we've got some progress going on. Uh, I do like my chickens too and gathering the eggs and everything. Not as much with the goats and the cows but or the rabbits, but uh, I do like my chickens. Hey Philip, what is your one favorite crop to grow? My one favorite? Yeah. I don't know, it's all pretty good. I would say tomatoes, but I got that acid reflux, so as much as I like tomatoes, they don't like me back. I really don't know, honestly. I like sweet corn. I mean, I could eat about all of them right out of the garden. I don't know. I just know, didn't know if you had a favorite one to grow. Because I see you out there all the time messing with the peas and, you know, yeah. taking them up through the the fencing and doing the same thing with the tomatoes and everything like that so well, peas and tomatoes they just grow so much overnight and you gotta take and hook into the fence if not they'll just get heavy and just fall off the fence yeah especially if you keep having storms like this so <laughs> and the tomatoes you gotta constantly weave them in and out yeah same thing so that's why tomatoes I'm always are probably about the easiest to grow though aren't they for me yeah a lot of people have problems with tomatoes and i really don't know why it's really simple Hey Phil. What? Hey. 
What would you say is your one favorite thing Nana. about farming? Nana, Nana. When we're done, I can sit Nana. down. <laughs> Aggravating these kids. That's my favorite part. Good. We're done. Reagan, what do you like to do on the farm? Um, well, I find some goats. You're liking baby goats pretty much, don't you? Yeah. I think you liked playing out in the rain a while ago, too, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I decided to move the ferry house that we made for the kids and uh, move it to an area that wasn't so directly in the sun all day long so that they would have a better time being able to use it. So we had to cut it down as low to the ground as we could. And uh, then we had to uh, find a place to put it. We decided to put it in between the two buildings because it's gonna get a lot of shade other than right at the heat of the day. Down there by my dog, she's covering it up. We've got a metal rod down into the ground. And then up here, I've been drilling a hole into the bottom of the, the stump that we're using. And uh, that way we can set it directly on that rod and it'll be safe for the kids so that they won't knock it over. Well, we got it placed onto the rod. Now I'm gonna get some uh, big rocks to put under it and then the kids can have fun. Okay, so I got some rock at the bottom underneath. Now the kids are taking their fairy things and playing now. Do you like the fairy house? Yeah! Thank you for watching Chamberlain Family Farms. You can contact us at chamberlainff at gmail.com. You can also see us on Facebook, Chamberlain Family Farms. We hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe.